Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will show you how to bleed the SRAM guide RSC, RS, R, and DB5 hydraulic disc brakes. You will need the following tools and supplies. A SRAM bleed kit, including SRAM High Performance 5.1 dot fluid, two syringes with bleed clamp assemblies, and a bleed block, a T10 Torx wrench, and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. For safety, you will need nitrile gloves and safety glasses. Finally, you will need water and a rag for cleanup. Use only DOT4 or DOT5.1 fluids with SRAM hydraulic brakes. Do not use any other fluid. It will damage the system and make the brakes unsafe to use, which could lead to injury and or death. Do not use mineral oil. Thread a bleed clamp assembly onto each syringe. Fill one syringe with dot fluid until it is about one quarter full. Hold the syringe upright, cover the tip with a rag, and depress the plunger just enough to remove any air bubbles. The syringe should still be about one quarter full. Fill the other syringe with dot fluid until it is one half to three quarters full. Repeat the air removal process on this syringe. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Remove the E-clip from the pad retainer bolt. Use a 2.5 mm hex wrench to remove the pad retainer bolt. Remove the brake pads and spring by hand. Then, insert the bleed block into the caliper. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the caliper bleed screw. Thread the syringe that is one half to three quarters full into the caliper bleed port. For levers with contact point adjustment, rotate the contact point adjustment dial in the opposite direction of the arrow until it stops. Rotate the lever reach adjust knob until the lever blade is 75 to 80 millimeters from the center line of the handlebar. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw from the lever. Thread the one quarter full syringe into the brake lever bleed port. Hold the caliper syringe vertically. Gently push the plunger down until the caliper syringe is one quarter full and the lever syringe is one half to three quarters full. If the fluid in the syringe at the lever is discolored, push on the caliper syringe until the lever syringe is full, remove the syringes, and restart the bleed procedure with new fluid in both syringes. Close the clamp on the syringe at the brake lever. Pull and hold the lever blade to the bar using your hand or a toe strap. Hold the syringe at the caliper vertically. Firmly pull on the plunger to create a vacuum. Then compress the plunger to pressurize the system. Repeat these steps several times until only a small amount of bubbles exit the system. If using a toe strap, remove it while keeping the lever pulled to the bar with your hand. Compress the plunger at the caliper and let the pressure move the lever blade to the fully extended position. Close the clamp on the syringe at the caliper. Remove the syringe from the caliper bleed port. Clean any dot fluid that comes out of the bleed port with a rag. Use a T10 Torx wrench to reinstall and tighten the bleed screw to 1.5 to 1.7 Newton meters. Open the clamp on the syringe at the brake lever. Hold the syringe vertically. Firmly pull on the plunger to create a vacuum. Then compress the plunger to pressurize the system. Squeeze and release the brake lever 10 times, allowing the lever to snap back to its starting position. Repeat these steps several times until only a small amount of bubbles exit the system. Push down, then release the plunger to equalize the system. Close the clamp on the lever syringe. Remove the syringe from the bleed port. Clean any dot fluid that comes out of the bleed port with a rag. Use a T10 Torx wrench to reinstall and tighten the bleed screw to 1.5 to 1.7 Newton meters. Clean the lever and caliper with water and a rag. Remove the bleed block from the caliper. Reinsert the pads and spring by hand. 
use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to reinstall and tighten the pad retainer bolt to 0.5 to 0.8 newton meters. Install the E-clip by hand. Install the wheel according to the manufacturer's instructions. Empty the syringes into a sealed container and dispose of the fluid properly. Used brake fluid should be disposed of in accordance with local and federal regulations. Never pour used DOT fluid down a sewage or drainage system or into the ground or body of water. Squeeze and release the lever blade three times to advance the pistons. On the first squeeze, the blade will come to the bar when the pistons advance. This is normal. This concludes the bleed procedure for the SRAM Guide RSC, RS, R, and DB5 hydraulic disc brake.